Hey everybody, welcome to another Illustrator CS6 tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to cl create clipping masks or clipping paths. And what a clipping mask is, is it's an object whose shape masks out everything except for uh, the contents behind the shape. So what I've got here are the clipping mask, which is the, the words are the letters here. And then I have the what I'm going to have as my masked object. Now the clipping mask can only be a vector. And the uh, masked object can be anything that it wants. So I'll show you what this is so it makes a little more sense. Select both of your objects. Go to Object and then Clipping Mask and then go to Make. And then you can see now what a clipping mask does. I can move this around and it's only going to show what is uh what was behind the clipping mask now you can do this with gradients you can do it with fill objects or anything like that you can also do it with pictures so i've got this wheat field here it's just an image that i pulled out of my off my computer and then this is just simple text now you always have to remember that the clipping mask has to be in front so just to make sure that it is, you go to your layers panel and check and make sure that it's on top. Select both objects and then go to object, clipping mask, and then make. And now the fill of my object is the actual clipping mask that it was. If I move this around, you can see that it's not moving around the picture and it just keeps whatever was behind it. So if you've been watching the other tutorials, you probably noticed that the same way that we've been doing stuff um, lately is going to and pressing make. So I you would might assume that you would want to hit release to undo it, and that is true. And now you can actually move this around to wherever you want and go ahead and make another clipping mask if you want. So say you didn't have it in the right pat or part that from before. There you go. Let me go back. Let's undo that. Oh, my bad. I hit the uh, zoom tool. I was wondering why things were all uh, wonky. Let me go to fit the screen. And go ahead and select that object, clipping mask, release. Now, if you're not sure what's behind your object, a good thing to do is lower its opacity. That way you can see what's actually behind it when you're making your clipping mask. Now it's not too big, too big of a deal when I'm doing it like this, but if you have something that's like taking up a lot of space and you can't really see what's actually behind and you want to make sure things are in the right spot, this is the way to do it. Just lower the opacity. And go to make. And then the opacity, as you can see, goes back up to 100 after you get done doing it. So that's all I'm going to have to, I need to show you about creating clipping masks. Actually, there is, actually there is more. Um, I forgot about editing the clipping set that you made. So once you create a clipping mask, go in here and you've got this clipping group. This is called a clipping set. So let's go ahead and edit that. Go to object, clipping mask, edit contents. Now you want to go ahead and grab your direct selection tool. You can grab this and move it around so the clipping mask goes to different parts of the area. The only problem with this is that you can't see what you're moving around or where you're moving to. So it's kind of like guesswork. You can also modify the uh, clipping path if it has actual shapes, but this is text. Um, the other thing that that you can do here is you can uh, apply fill and stroke to the clipping path. Um, let's see. There, now I've applied a, that applied a fill. I didn't want it to do the fill, I wanted to do a stroke. Let's switch them. There we go. And now I've got a stroke around the edge. So you can do that when you're uh, editing your clipping mask. So now that's all I wanted to show you about 
um, clipping sets and clipping masks and clipping paths, they're basically all one thing, are all about basically the same thing. So thanks a lot for watching. Look forward to seeing you guys in the next tutorial that I make.